37, we are doing the guillotine choke and a loop choke um, from the snap down. So center of my chest okay so we're here pull catch grab the back of my hand pull and then I can get the tougher I'll snap get that pull and then my outside leg okay if this is the arm that I'm choking with my outside leg goes over and I pin my elbow close and then fold to get the tap out so same concept if we're from our knees here I can do the same guillotine choke I push catch here Grab the back of my hand, pull to guard, and my outside leg goes over, pinching and getting that choke. The second move is a loop choke. I can do it from either of these, from standing or from kneeling. So the first one I'll do from standing, I push so that he pushes back into me. When he pushes back in, I again kind of wrap that collar around his neck, okay? I don't want to be too high up for this. It's going to be hard to get around his neck. So I'm a little low. Push, drop, wrap around the neck. This arm now goes under his arm, okay? It's gonna end up going under his arm and behind his head, okay? So we're here, drop. The next important thing is my head has to go through that hole between his leg and his, his arm here. So I'm gonna now roll this way, punch my hand behind his head, and pull with the choking hand, okay? Push, pull. Then again, for the loop choke, push, he pulls, loop. This arm goes under his arm, between his hip, and then behind his head, okay? And to do that, my head needs to also go. If I don't put my head inside, he's gonna, I'm gonna roll, and his head, his body's gonna land on my head, okay? So I want to dive my head under that pocket, okay? One more, boom, dive here. Hand goes behind. Pull here, push here. I'm not grabbing anything with this hand, okay? If I, if I need to pull more and I'm not getting the tap, I can switch my hips and then try to get up, 